Hi, I'm Jennifer with Martingale, and I have a real treat of a trunk show for you today. These quilts that I'm going to share with you are from the book Moda All-Stars All-Time Favorites. The Moda All-Stars designers, you know them, you love them, you love their fabrics, and they're here to share with you their favorite blocks that they've turned into phenomenal quilts. So there are 14 quilts from the blocks that those designers love. They're all-time favorites. So let's get started. This first quilt is called A Double Delight. And it's from me and my sister designs, Barb Groves and Mary Jacobson. And the Double Wide Dresden is their favorite block. And they show you how to make this unique block. They have a specialty tool, a ruler, that they've designed specifically to make it if you choose to use that. There's a template in the book as well. But it is a great uh, pattern design and super fun to make. It's just all done by machine. Um, they applique the block onto the background and it's called a double delight with the double wide Dresden block. How many of you would list flying geese as your favorite block? This beauty is from Birgit Heitland of Zen Chic and it's called To and Fro, and I absolutely love the movement that she's got going on here. I'm a fan of orange, I hope you are too, um, but mixed in here with the bright gold and the navy blues, I think it's just a stunning quilt. So Flying Geese were uh, the favorites of, of several people, but Brigitte got to be the lucky one to showcase them in her quilt To and Fro. Now, if you're a fan of the classics, you might also be a fan of Brenda Riddle, favorite and it's the nine patch this beauty is called bloom and the nine patch while it's a simple block can really shine and she's done that here in sort of a medallion style radiating out from the center and working around with careful color placement she shows you all her tips and tricks for doing that in her pattern in the book and this is called bloom by Brenda Riddle if you're a fan of the mother-daughter team, Sherry McConnell and Chelsea Stratton, uh, Sherry and Chelsea Fabrics, this quilt is by Sherry McConnell, and it is called Happy Star Cabins. And I think we're holding it sideways, but that's okay, you get the gist. Um, log cabin blocks are the favorite of many a quilter, and Sherry has added a little four-point star in the center to give it a little razzle and a lovely uh, use of her fabrics, the Sherry and Chelsea fabrics, and using uh, lights and darks on opposite sides of the block. So this is called Happy Star Cabins. Next up is this quilt behind me, and it's called Candy Stars by designer Corey Yoder. It's not a surprise that Corey's favorite block is the Ohio Star block because she hails from Ohio. But I love what she's done here and I wanted you to, to sort of see from a distance. You can see that she's got small Ohio stars in the centers of these. She's got red stars on white backgrounds and white stars on red backgrounds in like a set of four. But then if you sort of retrain your eyes, you'll also see a big white Ohio star that surrounds this. So this is the top points, the side points, and the base. Can you see that starting to emerge as well? So it's called Candied Stars, and that's by designer Corey Yoder. Now, if you're not familiar with the Moda All-Stars series of books, I believe this is the 15th book in the series done by the Moda All-Stars. And one thing that's really important for you to note is that the designers have donated their royalties from their books to different organizations with each book. And so for Moda All-Stars all-time favorites, they're donating the proceeds of royalties to an organization called Active Minds. And activeminds.org is an organization that empowers youth to um, eliminate the stigma associated with mental health and um, helps work on saving kids' lives by making mental health a priority and a focus. So that's where the royalties from the sales of this book will go, and it's a wonderful thing. The Moda All-Stars have donated more than $95,000 to charity um, through their donation of their royalties for the Moda All-Star series, so that's an important thing to note. This next quilt, you might know Lynn Hagmeyer of Kansas Troubles Quilters, and her favorite block is the pinwheel. 
So she's got a design called Blowing in the Wind and lots of movement both in the blocks and in the sashing as it goes around if you love pinwheel designs. I also love that she's chosen to quilt this with sort of a round motion here to add to the overall effect of the pinwheels. Now those are some of the more classic blocks, but maybe you're a fan of uh, the lesser known blocks, I'll say. So this next quilt is by Lisa Alexander and it's the friendship block. You might be familiar as I was with a signature block where it has like a wider strip in the center, but the friendship block has this little skinny strip and then the way she's placed them together, um, they create this secondary pattern of squares across the quilt top. But this quilt is called Making Friends and it's by Lisa Alexander and just a wonderfully scrappy, Lisa's sort of known for her pinks and oranges and honey browns, love that. April Rosenthal went bold and bright with a block that's called Dutchman's Puzzle. And it's actually where the four blocks come together. So it's flying geese units, but they rotate in a certain way. And she's done them in large and small flying geese and a wonderful array of green prints, um, all different green prints that she's used across the top to create Dutchman's Field from the Dutchman's Puzzle block. Our next quilt is from designer Ann Sutton of Bunny Hill Designs, and her favorite block is the churn dash, but she's done something a little different here with her churn dash blocks, and her quilt is called Ticky Tack Houses. So you can see the big churn dash block here, but inside of each of those, she's got a little tiny house that she's created um, with fabrics and then in the doorway opening she's used one of her snowman prints to fussy cut a little snowman in there. It is adorable. And again, where her blocks and sashing meet here, she's got a secondary design that comes together but all created by the sashing. So really simple to put together. Our next quilt is from designer Betsy Chechian. And this block, her favorite block, is known by two different names. You might know it as a sawtooth star or an evening star, and she's done them in two sizes. So she's got a larger one here and a little teeny tiny one in the centers of these. It's absolutely stunning. And her quilt is called Scrappy Stars. I just love what she's done with it and the prints that she's chosen for her binding and scrappy uh, larger lights in here are just a, a treasure to look at. Scrappy Stars by Betsy Chechian. Next up, this is from designer Tammy Monderschmidt and it uses the Indiana Puzzle Block and um, Tammy is originally from Indiana and hers is called Scrap Happy and the Indiana Puzzle Block you do have to do some planning as you're putting this together so you get your spinners going in the right direction and your little tails that are invading that space match up to the colors that are next to it. But love that scrap happy with the Indiana puzzle block. And this is the other half of the Sherry and Chelsea duo. This is the daughter, Chelsea Stratton, and her favorite block is called the economy block. You also might know it as a square in a square block and she calls this treasure box, and it really is a treasure box with each one of these little squares um, showcasing a different print. And then you can also see sort of the positive negative here where she uses the darks and the outside triangles in the center, or she uses the darker ones in the surround and lights in the center to get that sort of positive negative effect going. Treasure Box by Chelsea Stratton. If you're a fan of Lisa Bonjean, she knows little, she, you know that she loves little itty bitty or super big. So it's not surprising that her quilt, Starry Starry Night, has an expanding star that starts small in the middle and then gets bigger and bigger still around the outside. So a great way to showcase her um, tone on tone prints, just two colors that she's used here, but a lovely exploding, expanding star and she calls it Starry Starry Night. And last, but certainly not least, is a quilt from designer Robin Pickens, and it's called A Little More Positivity. 
And Robin's favorite block is the plus sign block. So she's got it in all sorts of chunky and narrow sizes and a variety of colors that gradate across the quilt. Absolutely love that. If you love these quilts, look for Moda All-Stars all-time favorites. The book is available wherever you buy books or at shopmartingale.com.